Greetings, geeks. This is Rose with geek to me Crafts, where I help you source affordable craft supplies, where as well as provide tutorials and DIYs. Welcome to Vlogmas 2020. I have lost track of the days, so sorry about that. I've teamed up with Sopreneur Stephanie Grams for Vlogmas 2020. Our collaboration theme is Crafts on a Budget with Items on Hand. Her website is stephaniegrams.com, and I'll link in the description box below that website and the video that we have collaborated on together. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to both this video and hers so you don't miss any of our money saving strategies. So today my craft for you is a bracelet. I already had the materials for this on hand. In fact, I think I've had this material for maybe two years, maybe even longer than that. So I went ahead and opened it up. I think I picked this up on sale at Hobby Lobby and it has nine little charms on it that you can put images inside of. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is a Harry Potter book cover set and there's only seven uh, books in that series. So I need to take off two of these charms. So that's what I'm doing right here. What I'm gonna do is take my pliers. I have a needle nose set and then a set with some um, like wire clippings. And then I am just gonna separate the jump ring pull off the sections that I don't want and reattach the lobster claw clasp on the end. So I have a little buddy with me right now. So if you hear a little child, that's my daughter. She is an <laughs> a little artist herself. So she's next to me making her own creations. Um, so I have the pieces removed and now I am going to just reattach them in the order in which I want them. I love making these little bracelets because I can change out the images in these to whatever I want. Anytime that I make this with the Harry Potter book covers, it always sells out. Um, I made this particular one for a family member. She wanted it for her daughter, so I'm hoping that she really enjoys it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna measure the diameter of the individual little charm because I need to source the book covers online and print them out to the right size. So I just do a Google image search. I save it to my external hard drive. You can see my other projects I've had going on in there. And then I print them out. So for these kind of projects, I don't bother with using a photo editing software because it's just easy to add it into a Google Doc. It has the measurements there across the toolbar and I can approximate the size of the image based on that toolbar. So I try to label what the document is because I've got quite a few things going on in my Google Drive. That way I can remember what it is and then if I want to remake this item, this part's already done. So I am going to import the files from where I saved them and then resize each of them to about three quarters of an inch because I need a half inch um, in diameter for the charms. So now that I have them all the same size, I'm just gonna hit print. I'm gonna print it in color, of course and then it'll just come out on my printer. Okay, here they are with the charm, or with the bracelet, and I'm going to use my compass to do an approximate half inch diameter on the images themselves. I'm gonna test it on the excess paper first to make sure that it's about the right size. What's nice about the Mod Podge projects is that it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just going to do about a quarter inch radius so that it ends up a half inch diameter on the images themselves with pencil. And then I just cut them out. I try to make them a little bigger than they need to be just because the Mod Podge itself is going to make the paper a little bit flexible and it curls itself up on the inside lip of the charms and so it really makes a tight seal in there if you make them just a little bit bigger than they need to be. Okay just cutting out the last one here on the outside of the pencil marking and 
I've kind of set a few of them inside of the charms to make sure that they are the right size. So you can see here that I have tested them all out. I'm gonna switch around the orders because I put them all in the wrong order. I like to put them in, in book order, of course. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so if you've got them in there wrong or they're crooked or you put the wrong one in there, you just need a piece of, um, a, a little pair of tweezers and you can work that piece out. If you have to bend it or pop it or whatever, it's going to be okay because the Mod Podge is going to fix any of the wrinkles or imperfections in that image. My little helper is back and uh, if you hear her in the background, just don't mind her. Um, okay, so just peeling these out and putting them into the right order. Which Harry Potter book is your favorite? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, this is by far one of my favorite book series. Of course, it's, you know, millions and millions of people also agree with me on that. Um, I think Order of the Phoenix is my favorite book. It just really captured my imagination. Um, of course, the very first one was always amazing too, so. Okay, so right here, I'm going to take out the image itself and I'm gonna grab my Mod Podge and get ready to glue them in. I just use a basic paintbrush to get a little bit of the Mod Podge into the bottom of the charm itself. And I am doing the last one, or the very first one last uh, for a reason. I'll tell you in a little bit but basically I put the image in the way that I want it to go I put the layer of glue on the bottom first I reposition the image the way that I want it push it down so that it seals with the Mod Podge and then I take my brush and I put another layer of Mod Podge over the top to seal it okay and then I will just proceed to do the same thing with the other seven images. And I just try to keep the amount of Mod Podge left over to a minimum so that it doesn't distort the image. It, if you keep it kind of thin, it doesn't really mess with the image at all. But like if it gets wet with the glue and then you go back over it again, it might smear it. Okay, here I am with the last one and I'm just repositioning. I'm going to put a layer over the top of it. And the reason why I didn't do the first one first was because I wanted to uh, possibly change the image from how I had cut it out. It was the first one that I cut out and it was a little bit too small. So I fixed that and then put it in. And there you have it. I have all seven of the book covers inserted into the charms and the lobster claw has been reattached the end of the other end of it is going to allow for the piece to be adjustable so if you need it shorter or longer you can do that and when the mod pod it's complete i hope you like this please leave me some comments down below make sure you go and follow stephanie as well as me and i thank you all for your support all i did was print them out on computer also come back and stick around for vlogmas 2020 as we continue into day five and beyond.